The Dune universe is one that contains great stories of the rise and fall of a number of powerful figures, and the characters who are the main focus of the movie are no different. I've seen the new Dune movie twice now, and something that struck me was how Denis used symbols to often foreshadow events or set the tone. One that stood out the most was the use of a bull. Throughout the movie, there are several scenes that contain a bull. We see a taxidermied bull's head many times, and also a miniature statue of a matador and bull from different angles. So, what exactly is the bull, and how does the director use it throughout the movie to express the tone of a scene? If you were paying attention, you'll have observed that the bull is only ever used in connection with House Atreides in the film, which is the house our protagonist Paul belongs to. It is often mistakenly mentioned by some that the bull is the symbol of House Atreides. This is incorrect. The actual symbol of House Atreides is the Red Hawk. If that's the case, then what exactly is the purpose of the bull? To understand, we need to go back in history a few years before the setting of the movie. In the movie, Paul briefly argues that his grandfather fought bulls for sport, and so he should be allowed to take more risks. His father replies, saying, and look where that got him, implying that bullfighting led to his early demise. Many years before the time of the movie, the old Duke Atreides was known to fight bulls for his occasional public spectacles, and even had a stable of Seleucan bulls on his planet of Caladan. The Seleucan bull was an extremely fierce creature, and was not only massive in size, but they also had a back covered in sharp spines, which posed a danger to predators, along with multiple horns. That being said, it seems the bull head from the movie may have been more like the bulls of today, considering it only had two horns as opposed to the many horns typically associated with a Seleucan bull. Despite the old duke being an expert at dealing with and defeating these ferocious beasts, he wasn't so lucky on one particular occasion, when he was mortally wounded. The bull that killed him was then slaughtered, and its head hung up on the wall in the Atreides' home on Caladan, eventually making its way to Arrakis. So what purpose does it serve in the movie? Why don't we take a look at a couple of scenes in the movie where the bull appears. The first time we see a bull is about 10 or so minutes into the movie, whilst Paul is having breakfast with his mother. The scene is quite important because it is the first time we hear of and see the use of the voice, the power used by the sect known as the Bene Gesserit to control the actions of others. Think of it as more of a powerful form of the Jedi mind trick if it were used for mind control. In this scene, Jessica is testing her son's ability to use this power, and as he tries to use it, the camera shifts focus to the portrait of the old duke, and then to a miniature statue of a matador holding a muleta. This seems to symbolize how the voice can be used to control the actions of others, much like how a matador uses a muleta to control a bull. However, just like the old duke failed to do this on his last attempt, Paul fails to use the voice successfully, only partially managing to get his mother to give him a glass of water. The next appearance of the bull is when both the taxidermied head and the portrait of the old duke are being packed away and being prepared to ship off to Arrakis. This clearly represents the end of the Atreides' time on Caladan, and the beginning of their journey on a new planet, as they leave everything they have known behind, including the graves of their ancestors. The miniature bull appears again after the Atreides have spent a day or so on Arrakis. After a near-death experience and his first encounter with Spice, we see Paul looking over the miniature bull in Matador as he seemingly ponders the future. However, this time we see the statue from a different angle, no longer conveying control but imminent doom. From this perspective, it is clear that the Matador cannot escape the bull rushing towards him, even though he can see the danger. In the same way, Leto, Paul's father, can clearly see the danger that his family is in, but can do little to nothing to avoid it, much like the Matador. This realization blossoms into reality a few minutes later, when House Atreides is attacked not only by their old rivals and former owners of Arrakis, the Harkonnens, but also by the infamous armed forces of the Empire, the Sardaukar. There is no escape for the Atreides, and no one who will avenge them as no one will know the truth of what happened to them, being that they are on a planet without satellites, and a planet where the natives are known to be hostile. The next scene with the bull is of the giant taxidermied bull's head in the dining hall. We see a naked Lado slumped in a floating chair, unconscious. As he slowly regains consciousness, the first thing he sees is the bull looking down on him, as if to say, 
I've got you, just like I did your father. It's as if the bull is looking down on his failure to protect his family and silently laughing. This not only forecasts the end of Leto, but from the Harkonnen's perspective, the complete end to the house Atreides. The Duke Harkonnen pretty much says so a few minutes later as he looks down at a slumped and dazed Leto. The last time we see the bull is after the Duke Leto successfully wipes out the Harkonnens along with their leader. Or has he? We see the bull looking down at his lifeless corpse as the sun rises on a new day. Leto didn't escape death. Instead, dying thinking that he had wiped out the threat posed to his family, only for us to hear someone wheezing for breath. The camera pans upwards, and we see that the Duke Harkonnen has survived after all. It seems that the House Atreides is still on the eyesight of the bull rushing towards them. Both bulls seem to represent an inescapable doom. But I wonder, does the miniature bull represent the bad circumstances the Atreides find themselves in, while the bull's head represents the Harkonnen specifically? Whatever the case may be, what is clear from how the cameras focuses on the bulls is that they have a purpose in the movie and seem to indicate failure or doom. This seems to tie in with a quote from the book Children of Dune, which reads, Burning beyond you, Atreides. You shall have no souls, nor spirits, nor bodies, nor shades, nor magic, nor bones, nor hair, nor utterances, nor words. You shall have no grave, nor house, nor hole, nor tomb. Hopefully, you enjoyed not only the movie, but my breakdown of an interesting theme running through the movie. What do you think about the purpose of the bull and what it represents? Do you agree with my observations, or do you have an alternative explanation? Let me know in the comments below, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.